This is a pretty advanced hypermature cataract. In fact, it's, an, it's a Morgagnian cataract. And unfortunately, this lady is bilaterally blind with such advanced cataracts. So here initially I'm placing my incisions. I stain the capsule with tripan blue and I'm expressing both the air and the tripan blue with 2% HPMC. Making sure I pressurize the chamber well with the HPMC. I then go ahead and initiate my rexus with my 26 gauge needle. I do lift up a flap but the egress of the uh, liquid cortex makes it a little difficult. I tamponade that with more HPMC, take a uthrata and go ahead and with a very fast motion complete my rexus. So basically before the fluid cortex can obstruct your view, you finish the cortex. But look what has happened. It's a little smallish rexus. So I just take my uh, micro scissors, make a nick in the upper part of that uh, rexus margin. Then taking my uthrata, I def decide, okay, I'll scallop it a little bit and look what has happened because I'm not able to control this. It has become a pretty large rexus actually. However, it is intact and this is what I have to work with. I then further tamponade with more HPMC. I am going with a very sharp long chopper and I am at uh, 400 millimeters of vacuum, 80% phaco power, 80 to 85% phaco power and 40 ml flow rate. Plan to do the woodcutter's chopping technique. You can notice how mobile this nucleus is. But the moment you have a two-point fixation, you can fix that nucleus and watch. With this woodcutter's technique, it's a little more peripheral than I would have wanted the chopper, but I am able to nicely separate it. I don't mind if there are a few cortical fibers, a few new uh, fibers, lens fibers in the center because I don't want this to separate as yet. The idea is I do not want free floating pieces at this point in time. So here I am going, going in the opposite direction. Again chop. You can see those leathery fibers across. I am tearing it with the lateral separation. Just about enough. And now I target now one heminucleus. Now I am going deep into that nucleus. See how my phaco probe is going into that nucleus. I impale the nucleus in the mid periphery with the chopper. Turn on the phaco and then laterally separate as I move towards the chopper. So I am just planning to target the other heminucleus before I make smaller pieces. And you can see it is a little difficult to control the mobility, this mobile nucleus. But pretty much in control actually, I must say so. So I just hold that piece since it didn't separate well and try to do a multi-level separation. I am targeting these pieces to make them smaller. And you can see that central area, you can see the red reflex through that central area. So I know it's time for me to eat up the segments. <clears throat> and that's one heminuclei done, controlling the other heminuclei, keeping it within the bag, not allowing it to come out. 
and watch how I handle. I bring out the semi nuclei, let go of it and tip it with my chopper to get at that central attachment. So it makes it much easier to handle it piece by piece without coming anteriorly and trying as much as possible to deter any of those pieces flying around in the anterior chamber hitting the endothelium. Once that's done, there's hardly any cortex. There is some <coughs> posterior capsular opacities. There are some fibers, but the capsule is so loose, it's not worth taking the risk of trying and cleaning that capsule. So I just go ahead, inject my single piece hydrophobic lens directly into the bag, take out the HPMC, put in my intracameral antibiotic, and conclude my search. Thank you so much for watching.